<laughs> Hi, I'm Amitai. I'm on a coding tour, and this was the first week. This was my first visit. I'm in Erlangen, Germany, and I spent the week with Matema and Redheads, who are a combined company. Uh, and I have here Thomas and Khaled to tell us a little bit about what it was like for us together. So, not exactly a retrospective, but just uh, a quick reflection. Mm -hmm. what, what it was like, what was surprising, what, what you might keep that you would do after I leave. Um, anything, anything of interest. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Yeah, so I'm Thomas, I'm CTO of Matema and of Red Hat. So I participated in some of your sessions with um, different kinds of mob programming and in different yeah, programming languages. That was the fun part for me, so um, having sessions in Java as well as in Python as we did today with the Strangler pattern, which was new to me. I know the anti-corruption layer pattern, but I didn't know the Strangler thing, so that was beside ha having fun doing such implementations or such exercises with more people than usually. Um, um, that was a good thing for me and interesting and also that is probably something I can use in some of my projects, depends on what I'm doing next in, in my project. Well, yeah. That was the part which I enjoyed on a technical level. I also enjoyed certainly going to lunch with you and discuss things beside the technical stuff, also about agile or about how you do, uh, do certain things in the US or mm -hmm. all these things. So that is always, uh, I think, beneficial to have other ideas, other points of views and such things. That's part of what's useful for me on this yeah. trip as well. Uh, my wife is from Germany, I'm not. I don't know if you can tell by my accent. Uh, and so, uh, something that I'm hoping to learn as I go is what's similar and what's different uh, in the work environment in Germany, in the work styles, in the companies that I visit. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's so far, I can't say much that's different. Uh, I think for, for developers, maybe, there's more in common than different from country to country. Maybe elsewhere in a business it would be more different, I'm not sure. But so far, I wouldn't say that it's a big shock for me. I don't know. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now it's my part. Uh, my name is Khaled, uh, and I work together with uh, Amitai um, on a project for controlling uh, the, a telescope through PC. And um, that was a very um, interesting cooperation between me and Amitai because uh, we I, I learned um, many things from Amitai about the structure of a uh, project when many modules work together uh, on the hardware and on the, on the PC. And, um, as, and Amitai uh, joined, joined me uh, in the middle of the project and uh, I described to him how what what the project is suppo uh, is supposed to do, and uh, he could have a good overview on on the whole project and how it can be implemented uh, in the software and the in the firmware, and <clears throat> of course and um, as I started with the programming. Sometimes I, I did some dirty programming because I thought, okay, sometimes I will, I will change this and that. But working with Amitai was good because from the beginning I started to uh, make a real clean programming because um, when we work together then it can, it can be um, uh, Another person can can um, support on um, defining the right solutions. 
Uh, no, another person can get in very quickly in the project because oh, yeah. uh, it, there is a clear structure okay. uh, on the firmware and in the software. And it was good that uh, that through our cooperation we could uh, could begin with a really um, clear structure on the project, and it was very good. And as we discussed the the structure, that was very interesting to learn from Amitai. That first we uh, write the functions or the um, um, the test. The test. Yeah. No, no I, I, I mean uh, more, more abstract because first we started only to write everything so in a notepad what, what, is, uh -huh. what yes. should be done. Yes. Okay. So to say. Of course, yes. Yeah. The real requirement and, um, and Amitai um, wrote it as it is and not as it uh, at, 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 as we uh, expect to be okay for example when I'm sending a request to the hardware I should wait and Amitai writes okay and now we wait okay <laughs> <laughs> and it was very interesting to make thoughts about everything uh, each step of the project and it was very good to I learned to think in in a way as it is in, in the project, and it was good. That's good. And the other thing that um, that Amitai saw, okay, there are some redundancies in the project because some parts of the codes can be used so by many models. So we started so to outsource uh, parts of the codes that we need many times, and mm, mm, that was not the point that I didn't know but but I learned to 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 pay attention to it it's easier with the mm -hmm. second person also. of course yeah. yes. and I think that is always uh, so we are doing also you know um, we have all such kinds like our lunch and learn where we also do some sort of mob programming or pair programming but always when I come out of such an exercise I think we should do that much more often, mm -hmm. yeah. because it really helps, as you said, um, you're, you're more forced in thinking about what you want to implement and how to implement, and you get the second or even a third opinion upon what you're doing, and that is really beneficial. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Is there some way that you can do more of it? Um, as you know, we are working for customers, it sometimes really depends. So we have customers where you really have to struggle to invest 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we have other customers which understand that doing such a thing like pair programming or even mock programming is a good thing to do. Yeah. So it, it's really dependent on, on the project, on the criticality of the software we are creating and on the budget <laughs> the customer has. Absolutely, Absolutely. Yeah. always. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think for me, uh, I wouldn't say that you started to have a cleaner style. I would say when I came in and you explained it to me, uh, you could have explained it in less time because you had put the explanation into the code that you had already. Mm -hmm. I think I said to you, uh, I don't know if you have a teammate yet, but when you will, they will be happy about this code. Uh, I and I also said, if you hadn't told me how it worked, I think I might have been able to figure out how to add a command to it. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't think it started when I joined you. I think you had started already. Yeah, thank you. But we, we thought about it together from there, how to extend it, how to find yeah. the pieces that could be better. Uh, really, I, didn't, I don't bring anything special mm -hmm. to the problem that you're solving. Other than I ask a lot of questions, as you know, <laughs> I try not to ask too many. Yeah. But I just try to reflect to you what I think your thinking is, yeah. which is already good. Of course. Right? So that's why it was in yeah. good shape, and that's why it will be in good shape. Yeah. But once you said that the code itself, when it's when it's clean and has a clear structure, yeah. you don't need to to write thousands of uh, mm -hmm. documents about it. It tells its own story. Okay, it tells itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it was really 
Um, it's it's really good so to start with this clean structure. Then now I think so everyone can understand our code on firmware and the software very uh, fast. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something else I think that uh, that I will take away is uh, we were working on. Uh, we, were, we were doing some designing and some thinking about some designing and then starting to implement and scratching our heads about what exactly do we mean, how exactly would this work. Uh, and it occurred to me that this is sort of the natural source of pain mm -hmm. that test-driven development can address. And so we, we didn't ever sit down and say, so here's how test-driven development works. I just kind of noticed, I think tomorrow it would help if we wrote some examples. And like you said, in plain language first, mm -hmm. and then as an assertion, and then do what it takes to make it green, so that we give ourselves some kind of a, a bounded area to think about with a specific example of what do we expect from the outside, because we were getting lost in the design thought. So what would it take for a consumer of this to succeed, and how do we want that to work for them? Let's write that down as a test. Ultimately, that's all the TDD is. Yeah. And there's a lot more to it that we didn't get into, but that's all it was. And we only did it because it helped. And it's a very interesting point. I think as soon as the person get the test project too, mm -hmm. can see, okay, how the tests are written, yeah. and can get also very right. quick and, and clear in the code. This okay, is how, how we want to use yeah, it. Okay. How the world yeah. Yes. It's yeah. learned by test. Of course. Exactly. That's, yeah, that's the first thing I look for. When I come yeah. to a new project, are there tests? Then I'm reading them. That's what I'm reading. Yeah, for. read only the tests and you yeah. see how everything works. It's exactly. very good. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess uh, something else that I would reflect on for the week would be uh, just the variety of technologies here. Uh, one of my goals I'm going to on tour is to be exposed to more things I haven't seen before. Uh, I have never done much .NET. Uh, very little C++, a little bit of embedded development, but not at the level that it's being done here, so it's great for me to get to play along with that. Um, some Azure stuff we were doing upstairs. Uh, just a really awesome mix, and on any given day I was with two or three different people or two or three different teams. Just very interesting, easy, easy to stay uh, uh, awake and focused and excited and energized, <laughs> which is what I'm hoping for. So. For me, this coding tour will be a success if people had fun programming with me and I had fun programming with them. Yeah. And I feel like this was the perfect first week. Yeah. So thank you very, very much. much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'm also very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Until next time. Bye. Ciao. Bye from Erlangen with Matema <laughs> and Redheads.